what are your suggestions for uh, the going on market of our device and uh, to actually use it on uh, a real surgical basis, everyday surgical workflow? Right. Uh, there are a couple of components to this. The first and foremost is the timeline. How long is it going to take? You are at something called technology level number three. Um, prototype and so therefore you have to get to technology level number six which is approval by appropriate uh, organizations such as the CE mark FDA and so forth before you can begin using them on patients uh, to that end uh, my experience has been that from three to six takes probably two years maybe three but then you're going to have another at least three maybe more years uh, at a significant expense before you're actually getting to a, a point where you have approval and you have begun your business plan. The business plan is the key to uh, how you get a return on your investment from this. Uh, so far you've been using non-dilutional funds, which are things like grants and so forth, in which no one takes equity in the work that you have been doing. To that point, you must think, and I think now's a good time with a working prototype, that you think about what is your exit strategy. That exit strategy can be, we're going to start up a small business of our own. We are going to license our technology and get a long-term return by the way of royalties, but no really big upfront. Or you may want to just sell your intellectual property, and that would be a, a lump sum that you would have now, but there would be no future returns for you. So those are the, the three categories, general categories for medical devices, or mainly any device, uh, when you're trying to plan on where you're going to be in order to get it to market. Uh, if you use a startup as the way, it's going to be long. It, it's going to take you 10 or 15 years. Uh, if you want to license your property, uh, your, your intellectual property, or if you want to actually sell it, then that's a short term. You do well to take the next three years or so in order to get into clinical trials because you can still find funding to be able to do the trials, but then you will have it approved. Once it's approved, it its value goes up enormously. Uh, if you want to license it or IP it, uh, you will end up with a significantly smaller return on your investment. The other issue here is now is the right time to find an entrepreneur businessman who's been through this, who's failed a number of times, and now knows what not to do, because that's what had the problem with most startups, uh, is they try to do it themselves and, quote, save themselves money, and they end up, uh, unfortunately, uh, taking much longer and getting less uh, return on their initial investment and work. So those are the advices I've had, uh, and I, I think that uh, uh, I think this has a great opportunity. You have industrial partners, and you'll have to discuss in depth with them as to which route they would be interested in working with you on. Okay. Thank you so much for right. your advices.